This is Trevor's catamaran. It's anchored in one of the rivers in this part of the state. I'm not going to say exactly where it is, and I'm not going to pan around or zoom out that would show some of the surroundings that people might be able to figure out where the boat is. Some people know where it is. I didn't know until I was told by somebody that they had seen it here. I don't think Trevor is living aboard the boat. He was staying with some friends that live kind of a ways from here and they were making plans to do fun and interesting things that will hopefully be shown on his channel at some point in the near future. I wanted to say that this is a really bad idea. I've lived here for a few decades and you see this a lot. People get mostly older boats that they get pretty cheap and then they can't really afford to store the boat in a marina. So they try to store the boat by anchoring it in the river and then they go away and they're gone for weeks or months or however long. And two things happen then. First is people who are living on boats near there will notice nobody's been there for a long time and they'll take anything of value off of the boat. The other problem is the first good squall and the boat will drag anchor and it'll be up on the shore or someplace it shouldn't be. So this is somebody's boat. It's a really nice little sailboat. And they left it anchored in the river. And the first good squall, oh. the first good squall, and she's up on the rocks. And if you don't have a friend with like a boat with some really big motors, this is where your boat will stay. In a lot of cases, having a salvage company come and pull your boat off of the rocks like this costs more than the boat. There's another one. I bet dollars to donuts both of these people bought these boats and thought that they could store them for free in the river and then they went off to wherever they live on the land and didn't come back for a while and this is what happens. If the boat is registered, the state will remove the boats eventually and they'll make the owners pay for the removal which is usually like a hundred thousand dollars or something ridiculous because it's a company with a government contract like the guys that tow cars right Usually they wind up keeping your car because the tow is $500 and then storage is $100 or more per day. So if you didn't have the $600 the first day, most people don't earn more than $100 a day. So you're never going to have the money to get your car back and they count on that. Here, I'll get a close-up view of the other boat. It's been here a while longer. There's been more damage to its hull.
The day before it washed up here, it was a pretty nice boat. You could have got some money for it or fixed it up to live on. And, you know, saved all the money for rent. But if you don't live on the boat and you want to just store it in the river, this is what will happen to it. Nice job retrieving your boats! I was just going to come by and take some videos of them on the rocks, but you got them floating. Nice job, man. They've lost the outboard conversion on the sport fish, and there's probably some hull damage to both boats, but they did get them floating and off of the rocks next to the causeway. And this is the other thing that happens, is if you just leave a boat for a long time at anchor in the river and don't come back to it, the bilge pump will run the battery down and then the boat will sink there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so we met James in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, and this was not you, James. Please record this. And it was another James who everyone online when we first got all the subscribers, they were like, oh, that guy's an idiot and blah, 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 blah. And like, <clears throat> the whole time I'm reading these comments, I'm like, that's not very nice to say to any of these people. First and foremost, like, this guy's a pretty good contractor and he's like also got a pretty good plan for his kids. And then also his kids are pretty cool. <laughs> and so, yeah, I remember all of that stuff. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so beautiful. And they're all going to, like, everyone's just going to make it. And so, like, I just felt that in my heart. So that, like, if you could record one thing of me saying something, it's just like, hey, I got Jess from blah, blah. And she's just like, hey, here's me recording my heart. You know, it sucks. But anyway, so that's when Trevor bought the boat. And I was like, are you sure you want to do this? And then at that point, um, James, <laughs> no silly info <laughs> to the name or whatever. But anyways, so another James was like, <laughs> are you sure he wants to buy this boat? And the whole time I'm like, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he doesn't talk to me about anything that I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. And so this whole time, this is the first time in a long time that Trevor has allowed my dog to, like, come on a journey with us. And I'm like, cool, this is my best friend. Like, my, my baby, like, the dog that's been with me forever. And so she, she stuck with me through the trip of, um going on a road trip with Trevor and going to meet his mom and finding the boat. I remember the whole thing. And I won't ever throw, like, anyone under a bus or anything like that. But I swear to God, <laughs> that was the moment that I realized that I don't know what he's doing and I can't stop it. And so from him going to this moment of, hey, I don't know what I'm doing, into a moment of like, I think I'm going to spend $5,000 on a catamaran, but they still have the mass sales, blah, 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 blah. And like this catamaran is like a $20,000 epidemic. It, it could be, you know, you calm down if I'm missing. This is my doggy. Hey, though. And this is the dog that <clears throat> Trevor didn't want to be a part of because she is really, really smart. And she keeps an eye out for her mommy. But anyways, do you bub up? Yeah, that's Good too bad that you didn't get to bring the dog on the whole trip with the boat. <clears throat> oh, my God. Dude, it broke, it broke my heart. Because nice. my, my dad who just, like, my dad who had just finished, like, um, man, the, the, this is kind of 
like James, if you and I were to join forces on this nine to five list epidemic, like hmm. in a weird, stupid way, like holy cow! Because Trevor told me, like my dog was my BFF. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. You, you've got your cat. And I've got my dog. So you know how it goes. Yeah, the cat has to come along. I mean, that's just yeah. how it is. Yep. And so I start this relationship with Trevor, who I think is going to be like a partner and a good person for my life. And he's like, no, your dog can't come along. Like, you let her come along a little bit, like just for a second. And I was like, mm-mm, not, not, my, not my cup of tea. Sucks. And I don't really like, um, I don't really like going back in time. But whenever I need to, I'll go right back to where I need to and be like, this is what happened. And I'll be 100% honest about it. And it just, like, really hurts my feelings that throughout one whole year, you are the, you are the person that put up the, you are the person that put up the platforms. No one else put them up for you, right? <laughs> no, I got to do that all by myself. Okay. Well, I hope that at least four years from now, you and I have to, not have to, but I hope that you and I cross paths again and then I'll be able to be like, hey. <laughs> We helped each other. 